Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Battlefront 2 multiplayer custom map review. I'm once again joined by Ryan, and we are on Sun Ra Desert City, a massive, massive map that is also in the Sky to Ground uh, map series, and it is an absolute massive, massive map where you can also either start on the ground, but also, as you can see, I'm spawning here in the sky, and I can actually get into a TIE bomber. Oh, it starts, though, if I... <laughs> press launch but basically this has a multitude of game modes uh, including also assaults I forgot if it has XL in single player but basically uh, it is a must for anyone who likes epic battles who likes uh, urban city environments you know it has that Coruscant vibe and it is playable with multiplayer now the only thing though <laughs> and we are not going to fully do this uh, match because as you can see the creator went absolutely wild with the score <laughs> a command post is under hostile control. but it is very overwhelming to the senses on what is happening a command post is under hostile control. I don't know. Post see we can even get into this enemies. transport ship We've captured a command post. I'm just going to uh. fly around. Look at that. All of those flying units in the air are actual units you need to be careful of. I mean, this is this is incredible. Our numbers are being depleted. Like this is everything. If you want dog fights and epic like if you want to be in a in an air vehicle or a fighter and want to give like support to your ground troops, you can do that here. If you like City environments, again, I think it's one of the best things that comes close to a Coruscant environment. Uh, and you can even kind of explore some of the map where... And I've seen this in other city maps as well, though. Where it has, for example, tunnels like these that don't really... Oh, God. Have a function and are too small for a transport ship. But if you were a fighter, you should be able to go through. So, oops. I don't want to switch sides. Oh, sorry, I'm following Ryan. Ryan is here on the boardwalk. What are you? What are your first impressions, Ryan? This is the first time you actually see um, this map. It feels like a battlefield map. Like there's so much stuff you can do on it. Like you said, you can go if you want to do air support, you can do it. If you want to do ground support, you can do it. I mean, it feels like it's got everything on it. Yeah. What do you prefer in terms of stuff? Is it like too overwhelming for you, or? I think if this was the first map that I have ever played on this game, it would be a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'm still really new to it. Yeah. And I I feel fine. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could jump in. Oh, I'm going to jump into this, this ship now just to have at it. But, yeah. And just flying around, just going up there and going to some of the capital ships is just amazing. Because you see all of those fighters as well, and they're just all playable. And characters that are actually taking part in the battle yeah how would you you are now in a ship though but how would you say was the did the infantry battle feel because you know like you said it's so open there's so much going on is there still room for infantry stuff oh yeah of course yeah I, I agree like even though there's not a lot of cover there is a lot of action going on there yeah there are nice assets used. I see even like assets from my Gito and from Naboo in there. And just if you look at this, it's such a overwhelming, overwhelming of the senses. I love it. Yeah. Custom vehicles as well, custom units. Again, this is in my opinion a must download. Oh yeah, for sure. I got a heavy blaster rifle troop. Alright, let's see what that guy does. And actually, I'm not too sure, but I have a feeling that there are more than 64 units playing in this battle. I don't know why about you. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, I, eh, probably. I mean, there's probably 12 guys. Uh oh! Just there's a Jedi there! Ah! It's Luke! Is that it? That's, a, that's an AI, isn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, he just died. 
do you like environments like this? Like, I'm personally a, a fan of uh, the urban environments in Star Wars, but there might also be those who prefer more, like, sort of, like, nature settings. Um, well, I mean, I grew up with Star Wars, the original series, or the original trilogy, and I kind of have love for all of the environments in it. Um, I mean, the original trilogy didn't have a whole lot of urban and really have any urban environments. Well, Bespin. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's that, but... As you can see here, too, you can get, actually get into an AA turret, help your troops in the sky from the ground up, or, of course, also fight the, the rebel scum by shooting them here. And as you can see, it's actually quite overpowered how strong this is. Very, very cool. There's just so much to do. I don't think there are uh, ground vehicles, though. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I mean, these catwalks and stuff, these boardwalks are too small, obviously, for that. But yeah. Let's actually be a different character. Uh, yeah, let's be a sniper. Actually, no, the heavy blaster. That's the one you were. The heavy blaster guy is pretty fun. Yeah, I think he's he's new. I think he's a custom one. All right. He's coming around. Here we go. Now again, if you want to play this map by yourself or with your friends, you can find the uh, link. Oh, I did see an AI walk off. But overall, I would say that the uh, map is very well playable with AI. Um, but yeah, if you want to test it out by yourself, play with friends, link to this map is in the download description or is in the comments. No, not the comments. The description down below. And if you have any tips on maps that you want us to play, you can leave that in the comments down below. Please make sure though that the maps you suggest are multiplayer compatible. And as you can see, you can even enter some of these buildings and have some cool fights here. And of course, previously we did the um, the Tatooine one, the Mos Eisley one, which is just also an overwhelming feeling of all the little details. And this might not be as detailed and I'm talking about like micro details with like the civilians and that sort of stuff. But still, it's very detailed. There's a lot of stuff going on on a great, on a grander scale. Like just all the, the ships in the sky, the different feelings. It's really, really cool. So which one of the maps we did today? We did four. Which one is your favorite? We did the Naboo Theed Hangar, the Sarlacc Pit, uh, most Eisley in this one. Uh, it's definitely between the the, um, but um, but hold on, you cut out right when you said the the which one? It's between this and most Eisley. Um, no. oh, I'd say my favorite probably is most Eisley, just because there's there's just so much love that you can feel was put into it, yeah, and so much time and effort, and but this one. Uh, this this one's just it's got it all. Yeah, this one has a lot of multi or uh, replay value. Oh yeah, I mean it, it's just fun. You do, you jump into it. There's there's walls of troops to mow down. Yeah, it's it's really just a fun, well done map. Yep. Oh Jesus Christ! There's it's, it's, it's Luke, and he just killed me. Are you watching me soar through the sky? I am now. Yeah. Oh, and I got a few kills with that. Awesome. Ah, oh, this is just amazing. And sometimes you actually have maps where they are, uh, though they're fun to play on infantry, they are too small 
for like air vehicles because like every 10 seconds you already need to turn around this map does not have that like the the area that the air vehicles that the fighters can actually be in is so much bigger so you can have like these cool dog fights between the buildings and the AI does tend to crash sometimes into the buildings so obviously fighter wise it would be uh, better played with other players but still I would say that they are holding up pretty well yeah let's be a sniper draw this is also great you can just be a sniper and snipe all the way from here which sounds weird but sometimes and I'm not entirely sure again I'm not too knowledge knowledgeable on how to mod actually you know I'm more knowledgeable on reviewing but um, sometimes they have fog to where snipers have a unfair advantage because they can zoom in further and can see more but here it's not true when they zoom in you see exactly what others see. Ugh. Yeah. What I mean by that is that if you if you were playing as a sniper in some maps, you have like a wall of fog in front of you, uh, unless you use your scope, and then all of a sudden you can see further. Meaning that those without a scope, even if they like zoom in, they still have that fog of wall. Um, but the snipers can already see you, so it's an unfair advantage. This does not have that. In fact, I would say that the draw this is actually very impressive, even if you're in the sky. If you're actually in the sky uh, with a fighter, you can actually see that you are pushing the game's engine. <laughs> like, because buildings do disappear in the distance. But, uh, again, it does take the, uh, the game's graphics to maximum effort. Let's actually get into another... To an interceptor. I wonder if I... This is our uh, base, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder where the enemy ship is. Let's actually get a closer look at some of these well done, Lieutenant. huge ships. Over. Oh, no, wait a minute. There's like an actual Star Destroyer in the sky as well. Hmm. All the way up here. I can't shake him. <laughs> I can't shake him. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Now you're pushing the engine. It's not the, the map's fault. Beginning my attack run. Oh, there we have it. That might be the enemy's... ...hangar. No, that's... well... Let's, let's take a look. Nope, that's nothing. Ooh. Down that oh shit, Luke Skywalker's out of here. Ah, throwing his sword at me. Not cool. Yeah, the AI's uh, pretty pretty apt with uh, with an hero. Oh shit, I just jumped off the edge. Oh. Oops. Now you can look at me soaring through the thing and actually finding the tunnel here. You can even go through this tunnel in the building. Do like a little Death Star run. Oh shit. Well, that didn't work out well. Okay, what do you have? You can even be Boba Fett. Boba Fett apparently is a... But you need like a ridiculous amount of kills to unlock him. Alright, I'm here. Shall we attack something together? A point, let's see, I'm gonna... Sure. Alright, okay, I'm right behind you. I'm right that behind was a big, you. uh... Bunch of troops coming up. Okay. 
Throwing grenade. There was. Oh, we have a beautiful grenade. To our left. Shall we go for that uh, enemy spawn point in the middle of that platform? To our left. Oh, uh, uh, yep, I died too. There's a lot of dudes there, actually. They have three spawn points, so they have a lot more units there. Are you able to actually pick Boba Fett yet? No. No, you need a lot of points, huh? Okay. Oh, that asks for a grenade. Ah, beautiful. Oh, and there he falls. Somehow it's always a Star Wars thing. Falling from really ridiculously high <laughs> like bridges <laughs> and stuff. Hang on, let me pick you up. Uh oh. Another grenade. Good luck with that. Oh wow, he she rolled out of the way. Man, that heavy blaster trooper is amazing. His weapon is so cool. Yeah. I, I think the heavy is kind of my favorite so far. Oh, jeez. Now, we are winning by a very large difference, uh, but I would say that it is pretty balanced. Like, we are, uh, it's not easy for us to actually capture those points. Yeah. And we have three, they have three. I just think that it's, it's, <laughs> and I mean, not to brag, we're not that good, but we do kill a lot of them. So I think you and me are making quite a difference. Yeah. Especially with the heavy one. Yeah, the heavy does work. Which does make me wonder if their side has a similar unit. If it I does, think the ones that's... The helmets make a... Ah. Are kind of equivalent. Because that is something I do think balance needs to be there. Oh yeah, you definitely need a balance, like... It needs to be a unit per unit thing. Yeah. Uh oh. Attack! Oh my gosh, am I gonna do it? I think I can get to the spawn. The enemy spawn? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll cover you. The one on the platform, right? Uh, the one on the... Right. Oh, okay. No idea where it is. But we are all, like they only have 20 units left, so we're about to win this. We're capturing a new point now. I just got it. Okay. Hooray! Their reinforcements are dwindling. Hey, RJ. Doing good. We're actually at the end of our stream. Actually, I don't know if you uh, are already subscribed to our Looping Real Gaming channel. I'll give the link. In the uh, chat, just in a minute, but we are about to win this. Look at that! All those fighters. Again, this is an amazing map, people. Uh, it deserves a download. Oh, I see you. What do you do? Uh, I'll, I'll join you in the sky. Huh. In the next wing, for some reason. If you press V, and I don't think the regular game has this, but it actually has interior cockpits. Yeah, I see that. So, okay, and there we captured everything, so now we are winning. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching again. This is one of those amazing uh, 
maps that definitely deserves a dollar and definitely has a lot of replay value where you can do a lot of different things. Check it out for yourself or with friends. Link is in the description down below. Let us know what maps you want to see and we'll see you guys during the next review.